Hey everybody, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a logo swapping effect in Divi. I added this recently to my site to where when you scroll over my logo, you're gonna notice that the colors will inverse right there on hover. So it's a pretty cool, subtle little effect. And most people know that when you click a logo on a website, it's gonna take you back to the home screen, but this can be a cool way to further incentivize somebody to go back home. So the method that I'm gonna show you, you don't have to do a color inverse. You could add a whole nother logo in general. You could also add maybe a little tag on the side that says, you know, click here to go back home, or really this method, you can add anything you want on a uh, hover over for this logo. So let's dive right in. We're going to go to my tutorial site and I've got my same logo and I've got the original one right here. So again, we just want to add my other logo to where when you hover over it, the colors change. So first things first, I'm in my my media library and if I click and look at my current logo, I can see that it has dimensions of 250 by 36. This is really important because whatever logo you put in place in the hover over state needs to be the same size, other, otherwise it can jumble things up or it can, it can mess with the, uh, the sizing. So we're gonna select my new logo. So I've got my new one here, and this is the exact same logo, the colors are just inversed. And again, I'm gonna take a peek and make sure that this is the same size. So yep, it's 250 by 36. So with that in mind, what I wanna do is I'm gonna keep this window open because we're gonna come back here and we're gonna take this media file. But what we wanna do is target this logo and add what's called a hover state. So if you're not familiar with this, don't worry, it's super easy. Just one quick line of CSS. And before I even get started, I've started doing this a lot more recently where if I wanna see changes live really quickly, I'll go into my theme customizer and I'm going to pop up in my additional CSS and any CSS we put right in here is gonna go live immediately, so it's pretty cool. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna use inspect element. If you've seen any of my tutorials, you know this is what I do for pretty much all of my work. So I'm gonna see that the logo in Divi has an ID of just logo. So we're gonna go ahead and use that and we're gonna create a hover state. So in our little CSS panel right here, we're gonna duplicate that, we're gonna say logo and we're gonna put those brackets there. Now, again, you can see when I just added that, it created this right here, but we don't want this to affect the down state, we want it to affect the hover state when your mouse goes over it. So I'm gonna add this little pseudo class, and we're gonna say hover. So now we're ready to change some things here. So what we wanna do is we want to actually add this second logo in there. Now there's no setting in Divi for this, obviously, because this is a customization, but I'm gonna show, show you how easy this is. We're gonna look at this file, and we're gonna take the URL, we're gonna copy that, and go back over here. And what we wanna do is add this URL in there. Now, if we just paste it in there, it's not gonna do anything. What we need to do is actually adjust the content that's in this logo ID. So we're gonna say content, and we wanna put this URL in there. So I'm gonna drop the URL tag right here, and I'm just gonna paste that in. Now, for good practice, generally anytime I'm adding a URL in a style sheet or anything like that, I always take out the web address, the URL, and I keep it at uh, backslash WP content. Reason being is if we ever move this site to a different site, it's gonna break if that URL is different. So it's good practice to always start your URLs relative right at the WP content folder. Now, with, the, with that put in there, we've got the secondary logo in our media gallery here. When we scroll over this, it should work. And there we go, easy peasy. So all I had to do was target that logo, which was an ID of, of hashtag logo, add a little hover class, or a little hover state, and then just make the content that URL. So it's super, super easy, super cool. Now the other thing I could do as well is let's say maybe I wanted to um, maybe I wanted to add like a like an opacity drop. So if I wanted to say, you know what, I actually want not only for that logo to be there, but I want the opacity to to go down as well. I could do that. So I could go in here and I could say opacity maybe 0.7. And what this should do is when I scroll over the logo, the logo is gonna change and it's also gonna drop in opacity. So it's pretty cool right there. Now that transition effect took a little while. So what I might do is add a transition effect in the logo as well. So check this out. I'm gonna add the original down state there and I'm just gonna say transition 
let's go one second, which should be a lot faster than that. And there we go. So it's pretty, pretty slick. Now, the other thing I could do too, let's say I don't even want an extra logo in there. What if I just want the opacity to go down to 0.7? And we'll make this zero seconds to make sure this goes really quick. So check this out. Now, when I scroll over it, it should go, it should, it should be a little more transparent really quickly. There we go. So really handy effect. And this is what I mean when I was saying that you can put anything in here. All you have to do is drop in content, URL, and then put your URL in there. And again, you're just gonna wanna make sure whatever the hover over state is that it's the same size, but it's a super slick way to just add a nice subtle effect to your Divi website. Now, once you're done with this, you can save your code and keep it here, or I recommend putting this CSS in your child theme style sheet. If you're not sure where that goes, please refer back to my tutorial on that. But that should be it, guys. Hope this little subtle effect helps you with all of your Divi web designs to add a nice cool effect. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.